I licked this buoy before we sent it. Oh my God. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh dude, are you serious? Oh, oh shit. The man is already out here. So we got Jesse starting to cut up the salmon head. We use salmon because it's the best. It's got like really oil slick on it. And sometimes we let it age for a couple days and then we kind of juice it up with some kerns. So the kerns works. Just to let you guys know, right? Sure. Right, Jesse? Absolutely. So just, just to so give you a heads up. Years and years. Give you a heads up on the kerns. Salmon. And I got invited to come out on the Rod Zack by Roger, Captain Roger himself. Along with us, we got Jesse from Lean Cod Jigs over there cutting up bait. He's got the salmon juice going. So tell me, uh, Roger, what, what got you into uh, hooping? So honestly, hooping, we started a long time ago. We were using the flat nets, I'd say about 15 to 20 years ago. Uh, we were doing trips like with a couple friends off the vessel assist. I mean, this was before anybody had started, honestly, but we did it. It was fun. We caught lobsters in the harbor. And ever since then, like we just fished like other types of fish and you start learning. Uh, where lobsters kind of hide and, and they're kind of like habitat what they do from start to finish like start of the beginning of the season like they kind of in tight and then later on in the season they go out to spawn just like a lot of fishes like that like scoping kind of the same same thing they kind of later on in the season they go out they all spawn then they kind of move back into the shallows but same thing with lobster it's fun to come out of here it's fun you know when the sun goes down that's when it all starts it's pretty cool so now I'm used to uh, like hand pulling these hoop, net, hoop nets, right? I'm, I'm used to dropping these down and literally like bent, breaking your back trying to get these things up. What are we going to be doing today? So today, you know, we have an ace liner and it's not a full automatic system. You could have a full automatic system when you do that bully dog assist, but we don't have it like that. We, we want our passengers to kind of pull it and kind of feel it. You could actually feel lobsters when you're kicking in there. So yeah, it's pretty much like it just kind of helps you, you know, because later on in the night, Especially when we're fishing deep, you pull one or two nets, you're done. You can't pull no more hand by hand, you know, honestly. Right, right. Okay, so this is going to be some type of a, an assist uh, where, where you actually still pull a little bit, but it's almost like pulling what? How, what, what do you think? Uh, give me a weight wise. Like It's it's like half the weight. Oh, like that's not bad. Half the weight. You'll, you'll see later on the night how we do it, and then we'll show you guys uh, how it's done. But yeah, some guys use the bully assist that you don't have to touch it. It's cool. You know, some, some people don't want to touch it, but we give options too. And then you don't have to use the pulley too. That the pulley actually has a little roller on top. And if you just want to put the rope on that, do a manual pull, you got that too. So we give you options on here. Okay. So it's going to be a fun night tonight. Hopefully we go out. We're going to be fishing about 3,000 feet deep, about six and a half miles offshore. Uh, so stay tuned. See what we catch. So I have not yet been on the Raj Zach. I was on the Leah Kalia, the sister boat to this, and uh, that boat was nice, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, hey, this boat is awesome. Let's talk about this boat. What, how, how, did, how did the Rod Zack start? Where, where did Rod Zack come from? So Rod Zack is my first son, Roger. My second son is Zack. So we had like a little scion, and my wife wanted to name the, the license plate Rod Zack. So we kind of went with that, and then I bought this boat in 2008. So this boat sunk at Catalina. So during Santa Ana's, which is the worst thing could happen to the island, like there's people like die trying to save boats and stuff like that. But anyways, you get 10 to 15 foot waves crashing on the beach. This guy ended up picking up camp kids from different parts of the island to take them to the smaller campgrounds. So he used this boat. But during the, the Santa Ana winds, he ended up leaving the boat on the 10 foot mooring, which everybody tells you like, hey, you got to move it out to the 40, 50 foot moorings because the waves just break on the beach. So this guy didn't. He left it on the beach and it just got swamped oh. and a few days later after I guess his insurance claim whatever he posted on Craigslist and then I went over there and bought it I loved the boat and it took me about three and a half years to kind of customize it and then we just like you know later on added new motors new electronics but yeah it's, I've been having it for about 17 years already that's nice yeah awesome boat man and uh I'm looking forward to see what it does out on the water, see how it handles, and you guys should see how many speakers this thing has. My goodness. Yeah, we're gonna turn it up later, that way you can listen to it. So what are you doing right here, Jesse? Uh, just zip tying these uh, bait cages in, getting them ready, that way they don't go anywhere. We zip tie both sides, that way they're nice and stay right in the middle of the net. 
Now, why would you zip tie this? What would be down there that could come and want to uh, take this away? Sea lions, we get sharks in there, octopus, all kinds of, uh, all kinds of critters down there, really. <laughs> One of the different things about uh, fishing for or hooping for lobsters is you can't just have just a regular fishing license. You go and get a lobster report card. And we're gonna have Captain Roger kind of go over what the lobster report card is. Yeah, so when you come out here, it's not just a fishing license. You gotta get this lobster report card. So this thing is literally this long. So I don't know, I don't I admit anybody that really does that many trips. We probably do maybe half to three quarter. But yeah, that's a lot. But that's the report card. I, I believe it's about ten dollars now. But everybody needs it when they're coming out. Even kids. When the kids are taking their lobsters, even kids need this. They don't need a fishing license, but they need one of these. Just to keep track of the lobster, see how many you caught. Now remember, you can't keep the shorts. We're gonna go over size-wise when we uh, start bringing these in the boat. We're gonna show you guys how to measure them. And uh, that way you don't get in trouble by fishing game. Cause well, I tell you what, that's a hefty ticket. We're gonna drop our first pot right now, and then uh, we're gonna work this area. It's one of the areas we like like to fish. Uh, yeah, we're gonna show you how we do it. So the way we do it on the rod zack, I've been doing it for years. So we have clips on our net side, just like this. So we clip it on here, like that. And then I have spools of 25, 60, 100, 200, 300, just like this. And this thing just like comes out like this. Yeah, you end up swapping out your uh, rope with a few wheels. So it depends on what, what depth you're fishing that day. That's the way we do it, guys. It's not piled on inside the net. It's not raveled around like another piece of, like, twine or something. That's the only way, guys. So we're going to show you how we drop the first net. What do you got there, Jesse? This is our secret burns. We use it to report. Before we drop every net, we pour it on. It kind of helps break down the meat, lets the meat dissipate more in the water. Lots of it. Yep, there it is. So here's the other side of it. So it clips on and we have loops on the other side. And we put a weight on it and that's our little tag to tell us that this is our buoy. So yeah, so the extra weight, I mean the weight uh, brings down this rope. So that way you don't have rope just floating around and people like, you know, run it over or even, even us can run it over sometimes. So the extra rope goes straight down. Go ahead and lift that one out, Jesse. We'll show them how it's done. And you don't have to wait. So you can just kind of let this out like this. And it's it, and it brings down all the extra slack so it could borrow from the other side if it needs to go deeper. But yeah, that's pretty much how we do it. We end up putting the glow sticks on later on the night. Uh, right now we still got a lot of daylight so right before it gets dark we'll end up just sticking all the glow sticks on there All right, let it go right there. The last net that goes in, Dustin's gonna kiss the buoy. <laughs> With his butt cheeks. <laughs> Out here, so cool, dude. It's nice, really, night. really nice and calm. Yeah. Got four more.
right there. wheel they said I got to kiss the last freaking uh, what's it called buoy last buoy for good luck so let's go it's gonna get it The ace liner pulley right here and uh yeah you could get that bulldog assist that kind of mounts on here and it helps you like pull the the rope by itself so here's a little roll in the front so the manual option is just putting it here and you're just pulling but if you want the assist it's kind of just bring one loop just like that we'll show you later on but yeah this is the shit ace liner pulley they've always been with us they give us a pulley every year so yeah man we're gonna do it tonight we'll show you how it's done Jesse, how many couple of zip ties do you have? I'm going to put it on here. Zip ties? So tonight is a special night. I uh, hit up my mom. She's got a Lebanese restaurant called Nazli's. It's in San Pedro. It's between 19th and 20th on Pacific. She makes the best kebabs, guys. I mean, rice pilaf. We got it all right here. I bust it out. And brought, brought, brought it for everybody. She's like a family style which is very, very cool. Let me get all the other stuff and we'll open it up. What type of seasoning? I think the Lebanese style is the, the less seasoning. Like there's other people like too much seasoning, but we kind of do it like a light seasoning that we could taste the meat, you know? And then our salad, which is very cool, it's all it is is lemon, garlic, and olive oil. That's it. So it's super healthy, super fresh. Some place for you guys. Of course, pita bread. Yeah, so she's got a whole big salad here. So there's your salad. And then your rice pilaf right here. And she makes the best rice. Oh, if you guys could smell this. And, and here's the here's the kebabs. So fresh kebabs all inside here. Oh my god, that smell. <laughs> ready, you guys. And then we have garlic paste right here. So you put garlic. The way I like to do it is open up the pita bread, like a little pocket, spread the garlic in there. You can throw a little rice, you know, put the meat in there just like that. You can put a little salad if you like on top. But yeah, make it like a little pita sandwich. It's so good. Oh, you're not going to make them for us? No. <laughs> I can though. And here's the hummus. So this is uh, smashed garbanzo beans. So it's it, hummus is pretty popular now. You could buy it at Trader Joe's, Sprouts. I mean, anywhere they're selling hummus. But yeah, this is the hummus she makes. And everything is in-house, in-house made. So this is for you guys tonight, so let's enjoy it together. All right, here we go, here we go. First pot of the night. Pull, 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 pull. How's it feel? Pretty easy. We want to hear that. Yeah. There it is, baby. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Good part of the night. Okay, bad one. You think, dog? Woo! What do you think? This is a good one for sure. Turn that water on. Actually, yeah. Uh, Service warranty. Oh, way leave it. This might be. Got one so far. If they're short, they go back. Cool, huh? Yeah, hot. 
Yeah. That's more lost in a net than my whole life. Huh? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not a bad start. First, first pull. How many was in there? One legal. And yeah, uh, how many total? It was like what, six? Six or seven. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Not a bad one. Got some more in there. You want to go live? Yeah, you want me to go live? No, I can go live on this one too. On my Instagram. Show the camera that pot, guys. Check this out, guys. Look at this pot. Crawling. Damn, let's go. Damn, that's nice. Good Oh boy. Guys, this has like 20 of them in there. <laughs> no bullshit. I don't lie. Get this one on video. We're getting there it. There it is. The big one. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice little <laughs> <or> this guy. <laughs> I told you, Tony. <laughs> Captain Tony. Hey, that's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're in there, dude. Oh, he says they're there. He says there's more of them. This is the Katy Perry. Let's go. It's going to have eight legals in it. Oh yeah. There's a lot. You gotta kiss every buoy. Oh, dude, it's it's over with. I'm telling you, I licked this buoy before we sent it. Oh my god. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh dude, are you serious? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. You're kissing every buoy. Dude. What? Yeah, Look at that. What? Yeah, boy. Look at that pull, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> You gotta, you gotta kiss all the booze now. Bro, are you serious with me right now? Yeah. That is insane. <laughs> right, baby. Rod Jack killing it. We don't burn your tiny.
move this one inside? Probably. So I don't even want to say this was an epic night because literally it was a few hours. If, if that, was it a few hours? Yeah. A couple hours. 7.30 to 9.30. 25? I think so. Yeah. We, uh, we did how many, uh, how many sets? Four sets? Yeah, about four sets. Yeah. We did four sets and uh, we basically almost got limits for four guys. We, what do you think about tonight? I'm, I'm amazed. This is, <laughs> this is my first time going home with seven. I limited tonight. <laughs> I'm absolutely amazed. Um, the ace line hauler was beyond ridiculous. It was so easy to operate that um, as a disabled veteran. Uh, I have a bad back, bad shoulder, and I could have done that all night. It could have kept going, no problem. Um, Roger has an amazing outfit on the Rod Zach or the Leah Clea, whichever boat you choose to get on. Uh, I heard Jesse say that next Thursday, Thursday. Yep. is an open, par open party trip. So if you guys are looking to get into hooping, you want to come out here, there's no experience needed. You guys just show up. You have to have a report card and Roger, and if Jesse's here, they're gonna teach you everything that you need to know about hooping. Yeah, you can check us out on rogerzacksportfishing.com or on Instagram, rogerzacksportfishing, or uh, look at Jesse's page, SoCal Lobster Hunters. Yeah. So check us out there, we're gonna have some open parties, but if you got a group, you could charter the whole boat. So come on out, have a good time, and we get lip, we get lobster, so. Yeah. And not to go. mention the food that we had tonight. It was absolutely <laughs> amazing. Uh, your mom hooked us up with some amazing kebabs, the rice, the the the, the garlic. Uh, what was that? Garlic, garlic powder. Paste. The garlic. <laughs> oh my God! Ridiculous, guys. Um, so shout out to his mom again. Where where's she at? Nasley's. It's at uh, San Pedro between uh, 19th and 20th on Pacific. There you guys go. So if you need to go fishing, what you do is you come out here, you go fishing with Roger, and then you finish out the night when you go have dinner over at Nasley's. Let's go. There you go. I appreciate you, brother. Anytime. Thanks man. for having me out. Having Jesse, me. always a pleasure. Sure. And the cameraman right now, Mr. Tony. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you.